In this video, we're going to look at how to install the My Bible app onto an Android phone and then how to load some Bible modules onto the My Bible app. In my last video, I did an overview of the My Bible app, and if you've not seen that, that might be helpful before learning how to install modules. The My Bible app videos can be found on my website, which is cox-net.com slash mybible. Now to install the app, obviously we're going to need the internet and then also to download the modules. So you'll need the internet for a short amount of time to do those things. After which the My Bible app will run without the internet. Now in order to install it, we're going to use the Google Play Store. On my phone, the Google Play Store is right here. Once you find it on your phone, just tap the Play Store and you should get something that, that looks like this within the within the Play Store. So in the Play Store, you're going to come up here, right here where it says Search for Apps, and you're just going to tap in here, and then under the Search, you're just going to type My Bible, and then you can tap here to run the search. Um, and you should find something that, that looks like like what you're seeing right over here. Now there are lots of Bible apps on the Google Play Store. So one of the things that we want to do is we're going to want to verify that we have the correct Bible app. And so the first step for verifying is just to make sure that the author is that you find right here is Dennis Dolganeco. Hope I've pronounced that right. The other thing you want to verify is that this icon here is a black Bible with a yellow cross. So once you have verified these things and make sure you have the right app, you can just tap over here on the install. And then you should see the spinning circle along with this percentage of how much is being downloaded. And then hopefully it's gonna say installing right there on your phone and in a few minutes you should have the Bible app installed on your phone. Depending on the speed of your internet and the speed of your phone, this could take a while. So now you'll see here on my phone, I now have this open, so I could tap here and I can open it. Now, what I'm gonna do, instead of tapping there and opening it, I'm gonna come down here and tap on my home, my home indicator and that's going to take me back to my home page. You'll notice on my home page that it's put the My Bible app right here on my home page in the next empty slot that I had on my home page. So on your phone, you'll just have to see where your phone put it, but you want to ensure that you have the My Bible app on your home screen or some other easy place where you can access it. So here on my home screen, I'm just going to tap it, and this is going to launch the My Bible app. So we'll give it a tap. Now the My Bible app is going to ask if it can access your storage and we'll just come down here and tap OK because obviously it needs to access storage. Um, part of accessing storage is photos and media on your device and again we can tap down here for allow um, and now the My Bible app will, will start loading. Now you'll notice one of the things that it's going to do is that when it starts is it's going to download the default modules and that's going to be based on the user interface language. And in my case, that's English. So you'll notice over here you have the spinning circle and so it's, it's downloading some initial modules. And in my case, in the English, it's going to be downloading the King James Bible. You also, it has a welcome here and you can read some of the, some parts of that welcome. Now when it's finished, um, it's going to, you know, tell us that we have a module downloaded. And so what we can do is we can just come over here to this left arrow and that should take us back to the main screen. And this should look something like you saw on my, um, first video which gave an overview of the My Bible app. 
To download Bible modules, you can come here to these three vertical dots and tap on the three vertical dots. This will give you a um, different settings and different menus that you can go to. You're going to look for the one here for modules with the down arrow pointing into the box. And so then if you tap there on modules, the first thing you'll notice is that there are lots of different modules from which you can choose. These modules are listed by language and by country. And so if you scroll down through this list, you'll just see all the different languages that they have, that they have modules for. If I scroll further down the list, if I come down here towards the bottom, you'll see that it's also listed by country. And so you can go through the list, looking through the list by country. And so let's just find the country here of Benin. And if I wanted to download a, um, a language from Benin, I could just tap on this down arrow and it's going to show me the different Bibles that it has for Benin. And let's download this Batanu Bible. So I will tap here on the Batanu Bible and you'll notice that over here, it gives me the number one up there indicating um, how many modules that I have selected to download. Now, I've not actually downloaded the module yet. I've just queued it so that when I come over here and I do click the download button, that it's telling me how many modules I'm going to download. Let's get a couple more modules, um, Bible modules, and then we'll, we'll download them. So I'm going to just tap here on this up arrow to collapse that menu. Now the next Bible is a Key Swahili Bible. And so if I scroll down this list and I find the country of Kenya right here, and I tap on this down arrow, you'll notice it gives me a lot of different Bibles. And I scroll down the list a little bit, but it doesn't give me a Key Swahili Bible. And so you may have to search around to find the Bible translation that you're looking for, the language that you're looking for, depending on, on what language. Don't expect this to be um, the countries and the listings to be completely perfect. So I'm going to collapse these Kenya Bibles. And let's go up here. We'll scroll up here and let's look here under um, Key Swahili. So if I come, find my Ks. Um, you'll notice that also you don't find it under Key Swahili. And so the other thing I can do is I can come down here and let's search, let's look under Swahili. And here we go. Here we have some, um, they listed as Swahili or Key Swahili Bible modules. You also notice that they have devotionals and dictionaries in Key Swahili. So I'm going to tap on this down arrow and I'll get a bunch of different um, Bibles that are available in Key Swahili. So let's just um, tap here on this first one. And you notice that when I tapped there that now my count is now two, showing me that I have two modules that I'm ready to download. So I'm going to tap on this arrow here just to collapse my Key Swahili list. And last I'm looking for the New English Translation or the Net Bible. So I'm going to scroll up my list here and find um, English Bible modules. And I'll just tap here on this down arrow again. And that's going to pull up a lot of different English Bible modules. I'm going to scroll down this list until I find the Net Bible. Okay, and here we go. Here we have the the Net Bible. So I'm going to tap here on the on the Net Bible, and now you'll notice that I have that I have three things here on my on my list. So you always want to just confirm how many um, modules you're going to download, especially if you have limited bandwidth or limited space on your phone. So here it shows that I have three modules that I'm getting ready to to download. The next thing is I can come here and I can actually tap on the download button. So when I tap here, it's going to give me this confirmation. Um, download three modules. So I can come here and tap on the download. 
and so now it's actually um, downloading the modules and if you go um, look on the different place it'll actually give you an indication of of how much it's being downloaded here so now to so now the net bible is downloaded and it gives us a little check mark saying it's downloaded we can go back to our application tap this left arrow and that takes us back here to our Bible. And then we can come here, as you learned in the overview, tap there, and see that we have these different Bibles that we've selected have now been downloaded and that we can use them. So we can tap here to switch to our Batinu Bible. And so there's our Batinu Bible. Again, tap here. Um, we can check to make sure that we have our Swahili Bible. We can tap there. And then we can come here, tap again, and let's just make sure we have the New English translation. And there we go. So now we have um, installed the My Bible app application on our phone, and we have downloaded some modules to use on it. Thanks for watching.